Hi, it's Greg from Vanguard Motor Sales. Today we're in front of a beautiful 1968 uh, Camaro convertible. This thing's got a big block in it, bucket seats, black interior, beautiful red paint, awesome automobile here. Hey, if you're catching us on YouTube, go to our website at VanguardMotorSales.com. We're going to put this thing up on the left. We're going to show you the underneath side. We're going to take pictures of the bottoms of the doors, under the hood, everything you need to see to make a good purchase on your muscle car investment. Also, download the seven deadliest mistakes to buying a muscle car online at ClassicCarBuyingSecrets.com. Come on up. Let's take a look. Take a look at this beautiful car, four-wheel disc brakes, beautiful red paint, all the chrome's gorgeous, cowl induction hood, convertible, what more do you want? Beautiful car. All my gaps look good, the chrome looks good, door lips look good, door jams look good. Beautiful car here. Thing runs great, stops even better. Chrome looks great on the back of this thing. Let's pop up the trunk here and take a look. It's got a big old uh, subwoofer in there. Still got the shakers in the trunk. Trunk looks great. Underneath side of the trunk's got a nice coat of paint. We've got a new rubber here on the trunk. Take a look down the side of this thing. Gorgeous. Straight as an arrow. Those Budnick wheels are sparkling in the sunshine. You can see those uh, slotted rotors on the uh, disc brake showing through. Let's take a look at this door. Looks great. Works even better. Hey, at Vanguard Motor Sales, we are not a consignment dealer. We purchase all of our cars. We spend a long time checking these things out so you don't have to. Then we get them back to our shop. We put them up in the lift. We check them out. Make sure all the major systems are working. Take a look at that uh, front bumper. Definitely new chrome there. The grill's in awesome shape. This thing is ready to go. We got custom interior on this thing. Door panels look great. Really hot looking uh, custom billet steering wheel there. Dash looks great. Custom stereo in it. Seat covers are in great shape. Carpet looks like it's brand new. Back seats in great shape. Got seat belts in this thing. This thing is all ready to go. Chrome up here on the top of the windshield's in great shape. Around the windshield's in great shape beautiful car here. Okay, now we're underneath the uh, 68 Camaro. We'll take a nice hard look at the whole underneath side of this. We can start right back here in the back. All these frame members are in great shape. Not a thing wrong with anything here. Uh, going all the way up and down. Um, looks in real good shape. We've got a, a GM 12 bolt rear end. It does have posi in it. Uh, they've added disc brakes to this thing and uh, real nice setup here. It's uh, got the uh, parking brake here. Uh, they're drilled and slotted rotors out back. Um, up front, they're bare brakes. I'm not sure whose system this is in the back. They are floating calipers, and it looks like there's a, it's a single piston on the inside. Real nice looking setup here. It's all polished aluminum. Working our way forward here. We've got Flowmaster mufflers here. Exhaust system's all tucked up in there real nice. 
Exhaust system looks like it's a few years old. It's in awesome shape. Don't see a thing wrong under here. This is one of the problem spots in these Camaros. These frames fill up with uh, water and dirt and stuff. But got my finger up in there. It feels fine. There's not a thing wrong up in there. I don't feel any corrosion whatsoever up in there. Real nice solid car. Um, my rockers are all in awesome shape here. I still see all the spot welds. You can see where they've uh, spot welded in all the high strength steel that makes this convertible have a nice stiff backbone. The floorboards are in great shape here. Looks like there was a little work done over here on the driver's side. It looks like maybe they cut out this section and replaced it with another piece of floorboard. Uh, either a patch panel or from another car, but it's all sealed in. Looks like it was welded in. Real nice job they did there. Um, looks just like the driver's side though. It looks like the only side they did. Now my bushings on my frame and everything have been replaced. Uh, they've got a couple small cracks in them, but they're still in good shape. Looks like a brand new cross member here. I see a sticker on here and the cross member looks like it's new. Got a great big um, deep aluminum pan on this Turbo 400. Got a chrome closeout pan on the torque converter. Got a chrome oil pan on this thing. Some real nice headers on it also. They're big tube. They've got jet coating on them. And then working our way up forward here. Now these calipers do look similar to the back so those back probably are bare too. The uh, fronts have the bare emblem stamped in them. And these are uh, dual pistons just in the back. And then it's a floating uh, caliper. So they're dual pistons in the back on these. Uh, and these are drilled and slotted uh, rotors also. The um, ball joints have definitely been replaced. Steering gear looks like it's been replaced. Looks like a bunch of new parts here. Really nice car underneath here. The bushings and the lower control arms have been replaced. The sway bar bushings have been replaced. Looks really sharp under here. Real nice surviving car. You can really tell this had to be been a southern car. Uh, never been hurt. I don't see any pitting or anything on the frame or the cross member here. Um, Let's take a real quick look at these good-looking wheels and tires. You can see right there the bare brakes right there on the caliper. Um, we've got some G-Force TAs here. We've got 225-40-18s and uh, they're Budnick wheels. This uh, actually spins off here and your lug nuts are in there behind there. The polish on that aluminum looks awesome. Got the same Budnick wheels, and we've got 245-40-18s out back also. Real good looking set of wheels on this car. All right, take a look at this beautiful 396. We've all chromed up and polished up under the hood here. Um, now I, I uh, checked the casting number. This is a 1968 three, um, 396. Uh, the casting number is unique to 1968. We checked uh, down here in front of the head also, and the um, VIN number is stamped in there, but I don't like the way it looks as far as uh, claiming that this thing's number's matching. The number does not look like it's been hand stamped, but the, the uh, numbers are a little smaller than I'm used to seeing. So if anybody knows anything about that, please let us know. Um, it is stamped in there, but I'm not going to claim its numbers matching, but I can claim that it's a 1968 396. Um, I know that for a fact from the casting number. But we've got a dual plane aluminum intake here. It's all polished up. There's a nice polished up uh, Holly carburetor underneath there. Uh, the thing's got a uh, electric choke. Looks like vacuum secondaries. The oil pump is a uh, uh, polished up. It looks like a probably chromed up um, oil pump here. We got chrome bracketry here, chrome alternator. Take a look at the finish on those inner fenders. Is that nice? I tell you, the finish on those inner fenders are nicer than some guys hoods. Really great job of uh, body work and paint job on those. Even the back sides of the front fenders you can see down in here. 
they they painted the back sides also so beautiful paint job on this thing underneath side of the hood looks great got power brakes on this car the proportioning valve is right here for the brakes so you can adjust how much brake pressure you've got going to the back those are hooker headers I can see the stamp on them there and they are the big tube um, looks like we got MSD uh, blaster coil there we'll take a look at the distributor that looks like a stock distributor um, but we are running the MSD box well, you know what? That might be an MSD distributor because it is aluminum. So, but we're running the 6AL box also. Beautiful restoration. This is a 68 big block convertible. Just don't get any better than that. Tommy's going to sell this one really quick. These things do not hang out in our shop. So make sure you give him a call at 248-974-9513. Let Vanguard Motor Sales put this quality muscle car in your driveway. Alright, let's take this thing for a ride. Hey, it's got a custom stereo in it. There's a iPod plug-in down here in the console, right here. There's a little switch here you turn on to get that iPod to work. Radio works. And we got that uh, great big subwoofer you saw in the back. Looks like my fuel gauge is working down here. My oil pressure gauge. Tack's working in the dash. Speedo's working. Power steering. Trans is shifting great. Windshield wipers work. Dash pads in awesome shape. The center console there, all everything looks great on this car. Drives nice, no hands. Beautiful car here. At Vanguard Motor Sales, we are shipping experts. We ship all over our country and yours. You want this thing out of the country? No problem. We're experts at that. Give us a call at 248-974. 9513. Tommy answers his phone seven days a week, returns all of his messages. You want any additional pictures of this thing? You've got any questions about it? Just give us a call. Also, go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. Up in the upper right hand corner of our uh, web page, you'll see a button that says Facebook. Click on that button and you can see all of our new inventory as it comes in. If you like us on Facebook, you'll get a notification every time we get a new car into inventory and you can scoop up the good deals before anybody else has a chance to see them. Give us a call.